Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. So first we have to accept the integer f, that is the number of food, food items. Then also we have to accept the f food items with their calorie as the input. Then the integer n, that is the number of customers. And also the n customer names with their preferred food items separated by comma. Then we have to sort the customer names based on their total calorie. If two or more customers have same calorie, so here it is. So if two or more customers have same calorie, then we must sort the customers based on the total items. And if two or more customers have same total items, we have to sort the custom sort the customers based on name. So here, if the total calorie in descending order, we have to sort, and here we have to sort in ascending order and the key logic of this program is first we have to sort the customers based on the name in ascending order then sort the customers based on total items in descending order then sort the customers based on total calories in descending order so now we'll take our first test case So here we have totally four food items and here n it is equal to six and we have the name of the food items and so these are the food items and also the calories are given. So now the total food items will have to mark So here it is three, that is Italy, dosa, bada, that is three, here it is one, here it is two, here it is two, here also it is two, here it is three. Now, here we'll have 450 calories, total calories, and here we'll have Pongal, that is 300 calories. Now here we have <clears throat> Italy and Vada, so 250 calories because 150 plus 100, 250. <clears throat> then we have Pongal and Italy, so here it is 450. Then we have Dosa and Pongal, so it is 500. Here we have Italy, Dosa, Vada, so it is 450. Now we'll apply our logic that is first we'll sort based on the name in ascending order. So that is A, B, C, D, D, E, F like that. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Then J K L M N O P Q. So here it is J H I J K L M N O P Q R. 
so we have sorted now we'll have we have to sort based on the total items in descending order so first we'll have pqr and then we'll have jkl as it has three total items put items then we'll have tools two foot items that is we'll have pqr here then for the total foot items to be two first we'll have abc ghi and mno that is the first occurring will be at the first here we have def also then now we have to sort based on the total calories in descending order so first we have mno then we have pqr then we have abc Here it is TKL, DEF and GHI. So this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the number of food items and then we'll have a list for an empty list for the food. Then We'll have to iterate over the food items one comma f plus one and here we'll have to get the food name and the calories then we will initialize the calorie as the int of calorie and food of food name equal to calorie then we'll have the customers and we have to get the total number of customers and we have to iterate over one comma n plus one then here we'll have the name comma preference as the input then we'll have items equal to so here we are iterating over the itli dosa vada then we have items equal to preference dot split separated by comma then the total calorie equal to so total calorie will be equal to sum of the food of food name for food name in the items so if we have the food items like idli dosa ada means we have to calculate the calorie for each food items and we have to add them so in order to add them we have used the sum here then after that we have to append the customers with some name and the length of items then the total calorie then now we have customers equal to sorted of customers comma we'll use the key equal to lambda function 
where we'll append the customers at the zeroth index the names are appended the zeros in the zeroth index and now we have to sort the customers based on the length of the items so we'll append at the first index and as it is in descending order we have to give reverse equal to true then we'll have to sort in the second index of the customers with total calories and again reverse is equal to true and for customer in customers we have to print the customer so let us execute our program with our first test case so here we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video